Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Well, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. This is Tales of Honor Podcast, and I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose. And for those of you tuning in for the first time, welcome. Welcome. It's nice to have you along. Uh, We keep things real simple here on Tales of Honor Podcast, and um, we'll dive right into it. Today's episode is going to be going back to uh, World War II, and more specifically, the Pacific again. And it's being brought to you by Design Cake Studios. So they are a small creative design company, and they got, I'm telling you, they have big talent in uh, graphic and web design. Look, if you you are are personally branded or your business uh, needs a a look, or maybe you need a a new one, head on over to designkickstudios.com. I did for my logo and business cards, and I really couldn't be any happier uh, with both of them, because every time I hand out... Uh, business cards, I I get nothing but compliments on pretty much just the cards themselves, which is uh, which is an awesome feeling. So uh, I highly come highly recommended for me. When you do contact them, just let them know that you heard about them here on the podcast, because if you do that, you'll get a free consultation. Sounds pretty good to me. Design Cake Studios, fresh thinking made bold, and now a tale of honor. Thomas B. McGuire Jr. was born on the 1st of August, 1920, in Ridgewood, New Jersey. He and his mother moved to Sabring, Florida in the late 1920s, and later, McGuire would enroll at the Georgia Institute of Technology. After his third year, he left to join the U.S. Army Air Corps Aviation Cadet Program on the 12th of July, 1941. As an aviation cadet, McGuire attended the flying school in Corsicana, Texas, received additional training in San Antonio, Texas, and was commissioned as a second lieutenant and received his pilot wings at Kelly Field, Texas, on the 2nd of February, 1942. McGuire honed his skills as a pilot while assigned to the 54th Fighter Group Flying Patrols over the Aleutian Islands in June of 1942. He was later sent to the Southwest Pacific at a base in New Guinea, and on the 18th of August, 1943, was part of a group flying top cover for bombers that were striking Wiak, New Guinea. During the mission, the group was attacked by Japanese aircraft, where McGuire shot down two Nakajima KI-43s and one Kawasaki KI-61. The next day, he shot down two more KI-43s. In September, he was promoted to first lieutenant. On the 17th of October, 1943, McGuire was scrambled to intercept incoming Japanese bombers that were being escorted by Mitsubishi A6M fighters. During the dogfight, McGuire noticed at least seven A6Ms attacking a lone Allied P-38. He dove into the fighters and shot down three of the seven, but the remaining four fighters managed to attack and severely damage McGuire's aircraft. With no controls, he decided to bail out, but upon exiting, his parachute harness snagged on something inside the cockpit. During the 7,000-foot descend, McGuire did manage to free himself and deployed his parachute at about 1,000 feet above the ground. He was rescued in the water by a PT boat, after landing safely and suffered several injuries from the flight, including a bullet wound to his wrist and broken ribs. He returned to his unit after spending only six weeks in the hospital. He was later promoted to captain in December and then major on the 18th of May, 1944. By December of 1944, McGuire was the operation officer of the 475th Fighter Group. The actions that merited his Medal of Honor actually come from three separate days of aerial combat, all of which are outlined in the citation. It reads, He fought with conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity over Luzon, Philippine Islands, 
Voluntarily, he led a squadron of 15 P-38s as top cover for heavy bombers striking Mabalakat Airdrome, where his formation was attacked by 20 aggressive Japanese fighters. In the ensuing action, he repeatedly flew to the aid of embattled comrades, diving off enemy assaults while himself under attack at times outnumbered 3 to 1, and even after his guns jammed, continuing the fight by forcing a hostile plane into his wingman's line of fire. Before he started back to his base, he had shot down three Zeros. The next day, he again volunteered to lead escort fighters on a mission to strongly defended Clark Field. During the resultant engagement, he again exposed himself to attacks so that he might rescue a crippled bomber. In rapid succession, he shot down one aircraft, parried the attack of four enemy fighters, one of which he shot down, single-handedly engaged three more Japanese, destroying one, and then shot down still another, his 38th victory in aerial combat. On 7 January 1945, while leading a voluntary fighter sweep over Los Negros Island, he risked an extremely hazardous maneuver at low altitude, an attempt to save a fellow flyer from attack, crashed, and was reported missing in action. With gallant initiative, deep and unselfish concern for the safety of others, and heroic determination to destroy the enemy at all costs, Major McGuire set an inspiring example in keeping with the highest traditions of military service. Thomas B. McGuire, Jr., became one of the top-scoring combat pilots in U.S. Air Force history with 38 enemy planes destroyed to his credit in World War II. His remains were recovered in 1949 and buried with full honors in Arlington National Cemetery on the 17th of May, 1950, in Section 11, Grave Number 426. A memorial was placed in 2007 at McGuire's fatal crash site on Los Negros Island, and not only are there many exhibits and memorials all around the U.S., an Air Force base in New Jersey received his name in 1948. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast, and hey, if you like this podcast, be sure to leave a nice review, rating, and tell a friend. Tell your family. If you bump into somebody random on the street, tell that person too. Tell your barber. Tell your banker. Let everybody know. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, and at thebeardeddetailer.com slash T-O-H podcast. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. (laughs) 